We as a committee have been uh, looking at our equipment and finding that a lot of it is uh, 10 plus years old and uh, out of date and uh, needing a replacement. And now that we've gotten a few more dollars from the uh, cable fund, we'd like to do it. It's something we couldn't do in the past. Um, I gave you a list of uh, the equipment we think is uh, needs to be replaced sooner than later. Uh, first one being a data video uh, portable switcher, which will replace our AnyCast, which does all the outside uh, videoing, the Christmas parade, the town meeting and such. The second is a, it's a high definition recorder. All this is going to be high definition too. Uh, is a recorder that is basically taking the place of a DVD player. Everything's going to this. Uh, instead of putting it on a DVD, you put it on a um, a, uh, a high definition uh, a recorder, and then download it into the system. The next are camera controllers, uh, and I'll put the two together: camera controllers and tripods. Basically, what they're going to replace is the ones we have now. They're, again, they're ten plus years. I don't know how old they are because they were here before I was here, and they're all. I mean, most of them we have taped up, and the legs are bent on those, some of the tripods and. And well, like I said, we make do with them, and they're, you know, they're doable, but they're not, they're old. Uh, and the last one is a, um, a powered mixer. It's a 16-input powered mixer. And what that'll do, I mean, I have mixers now, but I have only four, uh, four input, so I have to put them together. And anything to do with sound, when you're not professionally trained, as we're not, uh, it makes it very difficult, and that's where we have problems at some of the meetings where we get feedback. This will not only do all the mics, but it also power the speakers. Where I don't have right now, I I have a mixer for the mics, and then I have to jump it over to the speakers, uh, an amp to power the speakers. Well, this will do it all. So, and the only other thing that I forgot to put on here was uh, all this. We need new cables because this will all be HD. And the cables I have now are uh, digital, but they're not HD cables. So that would be like another $500 for a, a good assortment of cable lengths. And that's it. Any questions for the Brian? Brian, this was all put out to bid, right? So you have three bids on each one? Well, yeah, quotes. I have quotes on Three quotes. Yeah. yeah. Three quotes on each one. Each one, yeah. Um, and, and the other thing is that uh, when, you, when you're talking going high def, Mm -hmm. Because we do get a lot of people calling that the quality is not very good. Right, right. This the sound is terrible. Yeah, the sound is a, that's down the road. We're going to address that with maybe we found a an ind individual that we feel will really help us in that area because uh, we've had other people and they they didn't help. So we need somebody that's really qualified can, can take it to the next level. And the age of the most of the equipment you just said was. Ten plus years. I don't know. Plus we don't years. have any records on them, unfortunately, it, that I found. It's technology it, equipment. It's it's they're all obsolete. Like the uh, the AnyCast to fix that would cost, or even maintenance, do maintenance, or anything happens would be over the be over five thousand dollars. So it's not worth it. I mean, it was fifteen thousand when it was new, and this new one replaced it. It's fifty five hundred. So, and the uh, like I said, the um, the DVD players. I mean, you just don't. They're just standard DVD players now. They don't make the commercial ones. They go to the hard drives. And then the tripods and the controllers, those are just old. And they're, they're, they're obsolete also. You can't, you can't fix them anymore. And like I said, the, the mixer is just something that would make it e life easier on me if, when I'm right. setting so, up. I mean, so people, so people realize that it's not just that there's money there and you want to spend it. No, it's, it's not. That you want to upgrade I, I want to the upgrade. system. Yeah, we want to upgrade. We want to, because we've never been able to do it. You know, we just keep going because we, we get what we need to keep going but now and, and how many nice. meetings do you do this how many meetings oh i had that written down um approximately you, you you do almost every every meeting yeah and then it's over 200 a year so with with all the outside events and everything right so i mean i mean so that people can immediately access it get it it's streamed right. online right People can see what the what the right. town government's doing, the exactly. transparency of the town government. Exactly. So I mean, it, it, it's important stuff to get. It is. It is. It's important to be updated. I mean, we, you know, if if any of it goes down, like that, any cast goes down. I mean, I I could make it work, but not at that time. And it's an old machine, and and it's been great, but it's 
it's old technology. It's like having a ten-year-old computer. It's the same thing. It's just it's gonna it's gonna fail on you. You had something else in your narrative that you didn't say about the chairs. Oh, the chairs. Well, that's the next thing. Oh, that's the next thing. That's I'm sorry. the next. Thing. Well, I mean, we could bring that up. Um, let's let's do the first thing. Yeah. First. Okay. Regina, you have anything? Yeah. So eleven thousand four hundred just would just come out of the cable fund. Yes, yeah, so it would. Yes, it doesn't yeah, come out. I agree. I think we need to uh, run with the times here. Okay. It would be eleven. With the cables, if you uh, it would be eleven uh, nine oh two. I just okay. neglected. I was just brought that up to me today. Oh. Yes, sir. And to expound on James' comments, uh, this does meet the requirements of the purchasing policy for the town. It campaign. does. Yep. There's yeah, no I, exceptions. Okay. Thank you, Rick. Yeah, I'm um, also for it. I know you guys all work really hard there. And uh, did you have any? Um, feeling on what we were talking about with the other people that were just here oh sure yeah we we have no problem with uh working with john justin <coughs> we've had actually a communication problem i haven't been able to get a hold of him i don't know what you know, i text him but he's not getting it but no john's a great guy and he's our rep from from the channel 13 he's missed the last meeting uh and i, I would just say he's going to come in and talk to me and we're gonna we'll get this straightened out but as far as uh Cooperation, sure. Why not? You Do know, you see any time. benefits from working with them and making this purchase that we're making? I mean, well, it's it's it all clear. Yeah. I mean, they they have one of these. They have the H. They have they got one last year. One of the uh, uh, switchers, the portable switchers. But I mean, they have one. So if we needed one, yeah, we could go get theirs. Or if they if theirs goes down, they can get get ours. There's there's no need. You know, that's it's all it's all one town. Yeah, so. I'd like to make a motion to uh, act on his request. Okay, I'll All second right. it. All right. I was just going to say. Oh, sorry. No, that's okay. That's all right. That last year we had a vote on the town meeting on the revenue stream for yeah. what this comes to, and the town overwhelmingly voted to give you that, to give that money, to have it available, so we could do this, so we could start building this system replacing it and revamping it so we can come into the 21st century with well, yeah, the HD nice, and, yeah. and everything else. So Rick has made a motion to, I'll say 11902, so that he can include his $500 for cables. Mm -hmm. And Jim seconded it. All those in favor? Unanimous. Okay, and the next thing was uh, studio chairs and um, studio audience chairs. Now, the, the ones here you can see are from the 70s or something. I don't know where they're from, but uh, they, I, I think we can attest that they're not that comfortable anymore. But, um. These were, those were in the town office when it was in the old building. Oh, okay. So they're old. They so, um, and I know it's kind of a gray area whether the cable committee should uh, pay for those. You know, this is, it's it's the studio, the Channel 22 studio in the selections room. Now, um, I just want to bring it up to you that if uh, if it's something that I, I think would be a good thing, if they're all uniform chairs, except for a few that I know some uh, committees like to use certain chairs, but uh, to change them and make them more comfortable chairs. And uh, I gave you a list of chairs that, for ranging from forty to a hundred dollars a piece, depending on what you want to spend. Now, th these are just I, quotes from... Those are quotes, yeah. Uh, I, for one, think if, if we went out and, and we're going to order, these are just for buying single chairs as, at a place. Right. I'm sure we can get a better price. We probably can. If, we, if we're going to order 40 or 50 chairs, yeah. I think we can get I think a, we a could better too. price, too. Mm -hmm. But uh, as far as the concept, I'm all in favor of you. Uh, working up a price, we'll put a quote out. We'll well, we I, I, I think I, I just capped it at five thousand. That would be fifty chairs at, at the max, a hundred dollars a piece, which I th is more than enough for in here, plus a few spares. So, um, uh, I think can... you know we need to put that out to bid. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I think it's a good. I think it's some well spent. This is our studio. Mm -hmm. it's, whether it's the selectman's room, this is used, as Jim just mentioned, and you mentioned this. 200 meetings here, and we only have about 48 of them. So, right. So there's right. many other <coughs> organizations that use this room. It's the selectmen's room, but it's actually our studio. Right. So, 
I would say that before you order any chairs, make sure you sit in them. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've seen it happen test. so many times before that we order the chairs and then they're awful when they get here. Right. Including, well, I won't say anything more. But. <laughs> yeah, but I agree with Brian and, and Rusty, which you said that it is a gray area, but it, but it, it, it is the studio. Mm -hmm. It is part of the, the uh, TV. Yeah. The viewing experience. So I, I, I do believe we can go with that, and I would make the motion that we approve going out and getting the bids, the bids, and coming back with the bids and letting us know. All right. Yeah. Do we need a motion on that, or just a need a motion and second? It. All those in favor? Unanimous. All right. So now that you you've got you, at least you know you can go out for the bids. Right. You, you know you, you've got a rough idea what those prices are. We'll go out. We'll put it out to bid, and uh, we'll see who it is, and then we'll bring it back and. Okay. All right. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat>